So guys, ang lesson natin ngayon is uh, all about epicenter, focus, magnitude, and intensity. Pero before that, uh, let us have a recap about fault and types of fault. Okay, so panorin na natin tong video na to. represented by that. Is the point or a place underneath when the fault begin to slip? And the first movement occur. Another is the epicenter represented by star. It is the point directly above the focus. Okay guys, very good. So based on that simulation, uh, we were able to find out that there are parts of a earthquake. Meron tayong tinatawag na focus. Okay, yung focus na yan. Ayun yun. Okay, focus is the place where the earthquake originated or kung saan siya nagsimula. Tinatawag din siyang hypocenter. Okay, directly above the focus, so on the top, sa crust, is what you call the epicenter. So saan yan? Okay, it happens on tectonic plates. What are tectonic plates? Okay, these are massive earth's crust that is constantly in motion. Meron tayong dalawang plates. We have the tectonic plates and also the oceanic plates. So, merong focus din sa ilalim ng dagat or hypocenter. Meron din siyang epicenter dun. Okay, nakadepende kung saan nag-exist yung earthquake. Now, what is earthquake? Earthquake is a sudden rapid shaking of ground caused by a sudden release of energy in the Earth's lithosphere that creates seismic waves. Okay, so paano nag-exist yung earthquake? Kung mapapan uh, kung naaalala niyo yung lesson natin sa week uh, week 1. So doon kapag hindi na kaya ni friction ang movement, okay? Because the end of the energy release, pag hindi kinaya ni friction, magi-snap siya. Then that snap is what you call uh, stick and slip. Okay, yun yung magko ng sudden shaking. Okay, because of this release of energy magkakaroon tayo ng tinatawag na earthquake. Okay? Okay? Kaya nagkaroon ng earthquake kasi yung friction na nasa fault, hindi niya nakinaya yung too much energy or too much bending of the earth. Okay? Too much movement of the earth. So, mag snap siya. Tinatawag nga ng mga scientists yung stick and slip. Then that cause earthquake or the sudden shaking of the ground. Okay? Uh, have you experienced an earthquake before, guys. 
So, most of you, alam ko naka-experience na ng earthquake. Kala nyo, nahihilo kayo. Okay. An earthquake happens because of the fault. Sandaan nyo, ha, nung, nung week 1 natin, diniscuss natin yung types ng fault. We have the normal, uh, reverse, and the strike slip fault. Okay. So, it is important para alam natin, dapat alam natin kung saan makikita yung mga faults na yan. Okay, I have here a Philippine map, Philippine active fault and trenches. Okay, so makikita nyo dyan yung mga red lines. These are active faults. Yung mga violet with triangle, these are trenches. Tandaan nyo ah, ang trenches, fault din yan. Kaso, nandun siya sa may tubig, nasa may dagat. Okay, yun yung pinagkaiba nila. Pero they are both uh, faults. Okay, dito sa Luzon, yan. Okay, yan yung mga trenches. Okay, sa legend natin, guys, makikita nyo dyan yung basta solid lines. That's, these are what you call active faults. Kapag mga ganito, solid lines na may triangle. Yan, trenches yan. Ibig sabihin, faults that are found in bodies of water or oceans or seas. Yan yun. Okay, pag ganito, mga broken lines, yan, heavy dash line, trace approximate. So, ibig sabihin, na-approximate lang nila na merong fault dyan before. Okay? So, ang important dyan is the active fault. So, alamin nyo kung nasan tayo dyan. Hindi tayo sa Metro Manila. Okay? So, may fault na dumadaan din sa atin. <coughs> Doon naman tayo sa Visayas. Okay? Sa Visayas, yan naman. Ngayon yun, may trench din. Okay, may fault. Last is sa Mindanao. Okay. May trench sa Mindanao. Question. Tingin nyo sa ang place, which place lies along an active fault? Tingnan nyo na, sa ang lugar sa Dabao ang nakapwesto sa mga active faults. Ayan, mas, mas malinaw to yun. Anong place sa Dabao? Okay. Yun. Yung Dabao. Tingnan nyo. Yan yung mga active fault. Oh. Napapalibutan siya ng mga active fault. So, nakalay siya sa active fault. 